All right, welcome back. Part 25. Ada has joined us, sort of, and but she's already run off, the bitch. So we're going to run after her, see where she went. And could she have gone in here? Maybe. Um. Oh, no. Dogs are in here. And again, I don't want to I don't want to deal with them without my handgun, so I'm just gonna back out slowly. <laughs> they will bust they're in pens right now, but they will bust out, so Oh look, a film canister. This must be film C. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, open jail cell. That can only mean one thing. Stuff! <laughs> oh, I hate to lay the green yard behind. Now where the hell did Ada go? Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up now. I don't remember if Ada mentioned Ben or not. Did he? Or did she? I guess I wasn't paying attention. Oh, what Ada? The guy. Ben, you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? I'm very, very curious about how. She got to behind Leon. His she ran in John. front of Leon he down a narrow hallway with only one exit. Chicago, but he she wasn't in there. Ago. I oh, who cares? He's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? Why don't you bang on it a few times? Maybe here, you'll find officer. it. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. Oh, gee, now what, what could that, that be? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? I can't believe people are surprised by that. What? Me. You mean in a town full of zombies, but there's not more people alive? The city? I don't believe it. There's a kennel in the I back can't of the believe building. you. No. Inside the Ugh. A manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. So let me point at you All with right, my entire conjoined hand. Oh look, even the map tells us where to go, isn't that nice? Okay. Oh, fuck me. Damn it. Ugh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Haha, -ha. okay. There's plenty more blue herbs where that came from. Because I was just sitting here thinking I'm going to have to run all the way back to that area where I found that red herb where the dogs were. And I said this was kind of Claire territory because that's the nearest magic box. Alrighty. Oh, there's the ring. And so, once again, I have to wonder, how did Ada, where did she go? And if she got, if she went down there, how did she get down there without this tool? I guess it doesn't matter, does it? This is where you, you have what's called the suspension of disbelief. 
Oh shit, the spiders. Yeah, we're just gonna run past you, spiders. Oh, there's one on the ground! Gross! It didn't bite me, though, thank god. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, anyway. But there is a magic box in here, so we're going to use it, and we're going to save. It's been a while since the last save. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright. See, I told you there was more blue herbs where that came from. I'm glad it let me use them because... I can't remember, there was one Resident Evil game that wouldn't allow you to use um, healing things without needing them. Like, if you were fully healed or not poisoned, you know, you couldn't use the stuff that healed, that took care of that, so. On one hand, that's good, I guess, but... <coughs> Excuse me. This blue herb up in case I get poisoned somewhere down the line. Hmm. And I love how you have to go into a room to figure out this is a dead end and then come back and then something happens. Here. See, you couldn't go here with Claire. This is all new. But here's here's the dead end. And all those chess pieces that we're collecting go in there. Yep. So, is there anything over here? That would be no. Okay. Alrighty then. So now, guess who pops up? Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. Wouldn't that be the RCPD? Because right now it just stands for That's Raccoon Police end. Department. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. But then again, it's not the NYCPD, I guess, so. Does that mean I get to con uh, blah, 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 control Ada? Like I did. Oh, look, there's Sherry. How cute. That little girl must have dropped this. I think I'll hold on to it for her. Now that's where she found the grenade rounds for Claire. But when it was time for her story, you know, of course Ada didn't pop in. And, um... You know what bugs me? Is Ada's gun has a faster... It's a faster recoil than uh, Leon's gun. I think I like that. Okay. Now, this is where... Uh, what's her name? Sherry comes from. So, we're gonna go, and I believe, of course, there's an uh, optional item here, like shotgun shells. But, of course, you can't go any further. But you can give these shotgun shells to Leon. I wish you'd give him your handgun bullets, but... Because I desperately need those, Ada! But that's okay, I guess. Alright, so... Um, <laughs> no, 
Okay, so basically we have to do the same puzzle that we had to do before. And if you notice, Ada is now wearing that locket. So that's cute, isn't it? And there's something about what just happened. You know, she looked in the locket and saw that cute picture. Um, later on, I'm going to talk about that. How Ada and Sherry both solve the same puzzle, and it seems to magically reset itself for the next person, I will never know. I mean, hell, no wonder they had to blow up Raccoon City. Strange things keep happening like this. Things magically reset themselves, and items magically reappear. Yeah. Burn the city. Get rid of it. So anyway, the nice thing about Ada is that she's not a slow-ass little girl like Cherry is. She can actually run. And look, the club key that Cherry had already found at this point. Since we just saw Cherry, we know that she's already done this. But again, let's... I guess we just have to suspend our disbelief for a while. Okay, so we get a nice little cutscene of pretty much what Sherry did, except now Ada will throw it over there. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Throw it. Think fast. Here's one more. <laughs> No, that line always cracks hey, me up. I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. And she runs off. What? Ada, wait! Dude, she already closed the door. Leon, come in. I found the girl. And I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. So that means Claire... Okay, what the hell just happened? <laughs> um, because Claire... Uh, I don't know. I give up. Because if Claire had just now did that and found Sherry for the first time, then this would not have happened yet. That... that's fucked up. <laughs> that is just wrong. Absolutely wrong. Ugh. But, anyway, before I ta- ah, uh, Oh, get the hell out of here. Get- get- uh, Damn spiders. Okay. I don't know why I just did that. I'm stopping right here to stop this part. And we're gonna see you for part 26. So, and hopefully I'll deal with the spiders. <laughs>